Columbia Sports West CEO Tim Ball. Tim, uh, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Great to be with you. Thank you very much. So is this a, is this a resoundingly uh, strong kind of vote on, on the U.S. consumer? Well, you know, we're a global company. We always refer to the, the uh, indexes from 2019 for our company, where international business was about 40% of our total sales. So, you know, we're, we're considered a, an American company everywhere we do business. And, uh, you know, obviously 60% of our sales are here in the U.S. So uh, people tend to think of us uh, frequently just as a U.S. company, but we're, we're quite international. I presume the strength is, is all online and uh, bricks and mortar struggling. Is, is that something you expect to continue even post-pandemic and, and reduce your footprint accordingly? You know, uh, we have only a, a, a smaller percentage of our total business in our direct-to-consumer business uh, in brick and mortar. We have lots and lots of customers globally who have big operations uh, on, on, um, on brick and mortar, and we don't expect that those are going to evaporate. Uh, certainly, consumers during the pandemic spent lots of time online and, and lots of money online. But I think there are some places in the world where shopping is a, is a true hobby. And I would point out Japan, et cetera. And uh, so we think a, a good mixture of both online and brick and mortar uh, presence is appropriate. And, um, you know, obviously, online sales, people being comfortable shopping online is, is growing fast and will probably likely continue to get share. Tim, overall, the numbers were really strong. The stock reflects it. But what about China? I, I think they weren't as strong as some of your competitors are seeing in that market, which, which is recovering and has stores open and, and shoppers coming in. What are you seeing in terms of resonance from your brands in China? No, that's right. We really only have the Columbia brand distributed in China. And we we were clear to investors yesterday doing our, our earnings call that we've underperformed there. We have a very strong brand. We've been in business in Japan, excuse me, in China for over 10 years. The brand's well known there, but we just haven't done as good a job in that market as we should. So we're making changes. We're adding to the uh, the team that's, that's managing the business. We're increasing our focus on that um, on that market, and we will get better, no question about it. The brand, the, the market is growing, and Chinese consumers like the outdoors. They, they like skiing. The, the government has a big focus on being uh, a big part of the Olympics coming up, and uh, there, there's big investment going on from that standpoint. So we feel like our commodities are going to be right in the right place. We just have to do a better job executing. So, so overall, Tim, how unusual was this year for you? Obviously, you've had a lot of stores close and people are spending more time outside and all these things that are coming with the pandemic. How, how would you say net net it all shook out? And, and what does it mean as you look ahead to this coming year? Well, you know, when we when we went through the period of preparation about one year ago, uh, had we had we thought we were going to come out in this good a shape with the kind of cash balance we had and the kind of robust business that we had during 2020, uh, we frankly would have been shocked. It was uh, it was a lot of unknowns, and not that those unknowns are not continuing. There's plenty of risk throughout the pandemic uh, environment, um, but we feel very strong. And you know, we started with a strong balance sheet. And we've increased the balance sheet uh, quite significantly. So we, we think we're in a great position. And, uh, you know, the risks is this, but we're, we're going to come out much stronger, I'm sure. Tim, thank you for joining us to talk about what you're seeing. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.